So scatter plot is one of the tools which can really help to get good insights from a data set. So here I'll scatter plot iris flower data set where we have where we are where we are uh, classifying flowers as like species like we are we are classifying species of flower on the basis of their sepal length and sepal width and petal length and 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 uh, and, and petal width. So so let's implement a scatter plot. Uh, taking sepal length and sepal width at as x and y y axis, so it will give you a fair idea of how of what scatter plot looks like. So here I've uploaded iris.csv file in in Jupyter notebook. Import pandas as pd it will help me to read the CSV file. So iris equals to pd dot read CSV iris dot csv all right and then after that to plot a scatter plot we can use the variable iris then we can use dot plot kind equals to scatter and x axis is x axis equal to sepal length centimeter y equals to sorry we need to okay sorry yeah. then y equals to sepal length sorry sepal width centimeter okay and if i execute it here so here you can see so here you can see we have successfully implemented a scatter plot with X axis as sepal length and Y axis as sepal width, and and we are not drawing any insight from this scatter plot. This scatter plot is just to is just showing the range. It's just showing the range of both sepal length and sepal width across uh, different different species of the flower, right? That what's the range of uh, sepal length and what's the range of sepal width? Okay, so let's let's dig deeper into this. So let's say if I want to plot so let's dig deeper into this by color color coding it so which will uh, which will help us to actually see the range of values across different species because uh, because we'll have a color code for for each species right so here what we can do is we can import c born as sns mat plot lib dot pi plot as plt okay so these both the libraries which will help us to plot a color coded scatter plot so sns dot set style set style white grid And SNS dot face T grid uh, iris hue is is the variable which we need to pass hue is the variable which we which we want to represent in this scatter plot uh, like like sepal and then sepal width are the x and y axis of the scatter plot but sepal and then sepal width of what right of different species of flower right so here we'll mention species right comma size equals to four okay that's the size equals to four dot map plt dot scatter sepal length centimeter sepal width centimeter dot add legend execute this yeah this is a more more elaborate scatter plot for 
for for species of flower which which shows their range as sepal length and sepal width and based on this scatter plot we can clearly differentiate so based on this scatter plot we can clearly differentiate by drawing a straight line here right so we can we can we can arrive at a conclusion that so we can give a conclusion that all the values which are on on this part of this of the straight line they all will be uh, they they all are flowers of species iris 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 atosa and the and if the flower which are on this side of this straight line are either are either are either versicolor or virginica right so the plot is linearly separable that means we can have two points on this and draw a straight line which will uh, which will which will give us the demarcation between the between versicolor and virginica and and setosa however versicolor and and virginica overlaps with each other so there so there it is difficult to there it is difficult to to distinguish so so pretty useful tool it's a very basic example of how we can use it right uh, there's a we can implement uh, 3d 3d scatter plot which we'll discuss maybe in the next video right so that's it for this video i hope you guys understood the concept and if you have any doubts you can leave a comment in the comment section and let me know which topic you want me to discuss on this channel and subscribe to this channel